Hello my bomb beauties. So I am doing my second Halloween makeup look for this year. This is Harley Quinn and I hope you like it. This is a collab video so make sure you check the description box. I'm, I collabed with another beauty guru here on YouTube. I'll put her video and her channel link down below. It's Poison Ivy. You can go ahead and click on the box. So yeah, let's get started. First off, I'm gonna start with the eyes, and I'm using, this is the Jordana 12 Hour Eyeshadow Pencil in Stay On Black. Now this does dry really permanent, so I'm putting on a little bit and then I'm blending right away. Um, and I'm just, I don't wanna go above the crease. So make sure when you're blending, you don't go above the crease. And then I am going to be putting in black eyeshadow right on top. Now I tried to use drugstore brands and the eyeshadow palette I'm using today is the Wet n Wild palette called Poster Child. So I'm kind of cleaning up the edges and making sure it's really, really dark. Then I'm going back in with that Jordana eyeshadow pencil and the lower lash line, and I'm gonna smudge it out with a smudge brush. Then I am gonna apply eyeshadow on top of that as well to make sure it lasts all night. Then I'm using that same Jordana pencil in the tight line. And I'm going to leave the waterline alone and start with my concealer and my foundation. I'm using the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous foundation in the shade 855, just in case you're wondering. I just really wanted Harley to be still beautiful, to you know have that comic look but still be beautiful. So I didn't use white paint. And of course you want to make sure to set your foundation with the powder. Now for the waterline, I am using this Wet n Wild. It's actually a lip liner in the color Berry Red because I didn't have a red eyeliner. And then I did set that with a powder. Now we're going to go ahead and do a winged eyeliner. Now these are all the eyeliners I'm going to be using throughout the video. They're all from LA Colors. And the one I'm using right now is the Graphics one. I just think it makes a really pretty line and I really like, it's really easy to make a winged with it. Now I know it's hard to see, but we are gonna be applying a glitter on top of that same winged liner later. Now for the fun decorations around the eyes, I'm using the LA Pearl Eyeliner and um, I'm just making like squiggly lines and just kind of curling it around and just making it really, really cute. And I'm also going to be doing three dots right by the outer corner of the eyes. And then I'm gonna be doing one more little curl on the outer half of my eye as well. Now you can do this however you want. I found it to be really easy to just do one eye and then do the other eye. And so I kind of did it in steps like this. Then at the end of that little curl, I decided to add a little triangle, um, kind of like a half diamond, because she does have diamonds in her costume. Okay, so since I am gonna be applying some glitter eyeshadow, I decided to use this Makeup Lock and Seal from e.l.f. Um, you can use eye drops if you like, but I'm getting into this Wet n Wild glitter single eyeshadow um, in the color Vices. It's this red glitter, really, really beautiful. And I'm going to be applying that with an eyeliner brush on top of wherever I did that winged liner. It's gonna add some glitter, it's gonna add some glam. And I thought it really looked really, really good with this look. I'm also going to apply that into those little triangles that we made earlier. And then I'm gonna use some blush. Now this is the Wet n Wild blush in the shade Mellow Wine, which is a really pretty, really nicely pigmented red blush. And I'm just gonna lightly apply that to my cheeks. It's going to, again, make you look more pretty than ugly looking and then I'm gonna start with the eyebrows so I'm using this is the same lip 
liner that I used earlier um, from Wet n Wild and I'm gonna start shaping my eyebrows and um, extending them filling them in it's okay if the filling in isn't that nice because I am gonna be using an eyebrow brush to fill it in to make the lines a lot crispier um, a lot nicer and I am gonna kind of make a little wing at the end of that and then you do want to go over top of this with a red eyeshadow now mine is from the palette poster child and then underneath I'm going to go in with a jumbo pencil from NYX in the color milk to just kind of make it a little bit more crispier and I'm just going to blend that out using a foundation brush. Then I'm going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara. And I felt like my lashes really got lost with all that black makeup, so I am going to be applying lashes over top of that. Now, if you'd like, I do recommend doing the whole red glitter after you apply your lashes. I didn't do that, so I did have to go back in and kind of touch up a little bit um, but I'm definitely glad that I use the lashes because it makes just the eyes pop a lot more and look a lot bigger and a lot prettier then I'm gonna start mapping out where I want my mask to go and I'm using this is just a white eyeliner from wet and wild and I'm just putting dots and I wanted to it to look a lot more like that diamond shape if you know um, Harley Quinn her outfit does have a lot of diamonds on it so I'm kind of shaping it out more of a diamond shape um, and then all you have to do after that is basically connect the dots that's it it's super simple you can definitely use a nude eyeliner if you'd like rather than the white Then I'm going over top of that with a black eyeliner. Um, the white did make my eyeliner a little gray, so I went back in with a eyeliner brush and with that Jordana black pencil, and I went over top of that, and then using a Q-tip, I did clean up the edges, clean up the white so you couldn't see that, um, and it just made it look a lot more cleaner. Now, I did decide later to apply some black eyeshadow over top of that just because it's going to make it last a lot longer. It's going to make it a lot darker. And then I went back in and I actually made the lines a lot fatter because I thought they were too skinny. So it's up to you how you want to make your mask. Now, Harley Quinn, she does have a whole red on one side, black on one side going on. So I'm doing half of my lips red, and I kind of shaped my lips a little bit differently, made them a little bit more pointy on the top. And then the other, on the other side, I am doing it black with a black eyeliner. But I'm making sure to leave kind of the center of my lips is going to be kind of a diamond in an opposite color. So on the black side, I'm kind of shape, letting that diamond shape kind of open and then on the red side I'm going in and I'm filling in with a black and I'm going to continue on with that diamond shape if you can see in the middle I made kind of a diamond I hopefully this isn't too confusing hopefully you know what I'm doing here it's hard to explain and then on the part that we left open on the black side I just filled it in with some red lipstick so the lipsticks that I use today are from Wet n Wild so I have the red one and the black one is from the fantasy line from like the Halloween line that they have so I just went over that just to help so that my lips weren't so dry then I went back in with that glitter and just added some glitter to that diamond shape that I have going on in the middle of my lips I thought it kind of made it pop again and looked really, really cute. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had so much fun making this video and I just got so much inspiration by so many different pictures and I hope you guys enjoyed it. So that's it guys happy Halloween don't forget to check out my blog for more pictures it is bombbeautiful.com and make sure to like this video and to comment down below of any video suggestions and don't forget to check out poison ivy you can click on this 
picture and I'll take you straight to that video. Don't forget, beauty comes from within, so make sure you let your shine. I love you guys. Bye!